Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing fine, staying safe and being inside. Uh, I just wanted to give you one uh, very quick information that uh, I would be going live on 12th June. Uh, the timings would be down in the description box below and also I've uh, updated on the community uh, post where I generally post all the questions. Uh, a lot of people have already given me uh, the topics for uh, the next uh, live chat. Uh, if you have missed giving uh, your uh, opinion or your options there, I would request that you can leave a comment below in the uh, comment section and I would be like shortlisting and clubbing the uh, the topics together and uh, the one which will have the maximum amount of votes I'm gonna go with that but however if uh, we will be able to finish that topic off I will be taking individual questions okay so going forward what are we talking today we are talking about um, coding uh, coding what is coding actually coding is a skill where uh, you take instructions step by step and translate into a language that computer understands so it's a very basic thing that we all have been doing we all have been learning but this has been introduced to our kids in a very fun and learning way and i thought uh, that i have done previously some um, activities and some exercises on coding and decoding but today i'm going to share with you some very simple uh, beginner exercises that you can do with your children this uh, video is specifically for age group four plus you could also start with three and a half if you think your child is able to do it you can always uh, adapt my activities I've always told that you can always adapt these activities but I have kept it very very simple just as the beginner level so um, how do you code why do you code why do you think kids need to uh, learn coding and I think with the kind of uh, the way the world is going the way the te technology is going I think coding is one thing that has been going on uh, very strongly in today's world and people are saying that we have to teach our kids how to code and I do not deny that because we uh, with Vivan Vivan started coding at uh, when he was in pre-k with the school and uh, he's doing pretty good actually he's really liking it and I think the, the way um, it's not actually zero and one. They're not teaching them right now the binary language, how you have to actually make the code and then uh, uh, how you are going to tell the computer to work. No, they're actually learning them in a very fun way. And how did we start coding? We started with very basic, simple activities at home uh, for him to understand, which is step by step and directions. So all the activities that I'm going to share with you today are based on that. And uh, it's a free printable. You can definitely go onto the link in the description box below. But don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. So let's get started with the activities. So guys, we have uh, 10 activities today that I'm going to be sharing with you and telling you exactly how to present to your kids. And don't worry at all, coding is not at all mundane. It's not difficult at all. It doesn't need to be difficult or boring. Uh, we are just introducing with so many fun concepts. And a lot of stay-at-home moms have always asked me what are the things that they can do. This fits in perfect for your summary unit for something that you can try. And if you think uh, your child is getting overwhelmed, um, try and do one sheet at a day or there are some very uh, interesting activities that I've shared. Maybe try and introduce them first. And uh, trust me, these are all uh, very, very interesting and uh, super fun at the same time. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is the activity number one, which says coding activity one. Each animal will be going in one direction. Cut out and Cut out the correct cards and paste. So the first thing that you're going to notice is there are four characters here. There's a cat, bee, heart, and a dog. Each have been assigned one arrow one with one particular color. Okay, so one arrow going in one direction and there's a particular color. So that's what the child needs to understand. So two thinking, two step thinking already. The first step is the animal that he needs to understand or she and then the arrow that the cat is associated with. So wherever you see any other cat, okay, there's a cat sitting right here and this here, they would be cutting this out. So this is a great cutting and pasting activity at the same time. So you are building fine motor skills without even them knowing and because they're like so busy doing this. Uh, and then after cutting these, he would be putting it right here and right here. 
okay and if they don't want to paste they can just place it on top of this so this is how it's going to be and you can just you you can cut this strip and uh, if you want you can chip this off and they can just place this rather than pasting it right away so that you can keep doing it over and over again so this was activity number one which was just looking at directions and here they are memorizing the the way the arrows are going up down left and right activity number two okay the arrows are assigned to each hand cut and paste the hands next to the arrows so here you have a grid which is a three by three and uh, all the four different hands have different hand gestures so this is two this is high five this is a pointer and this is just saying hi so you have all um, all of them have been assigned a particular uh, code again now you have to see the codes are already given so this means the arrows are already here which arrow is associated with which hand these needs to be chipped off or clipped off from here pick it up and place it right here so I'm just going to associate one. So if I'm taking this hand as purple, if you can see, oh, sorry. So this hand, so that's basically this one. So I'm going to associate this with this one right here. So, or I have some arrows too, which I'm going to put right here. Don't worry, guys. I've given some free arrows, which are in the, in the last page that you can cut it off and the kids can use it. Okay, so this was activity number two. And you can see how easy they are so th there is no way they're going to feel that coding is so difficult and for simple stay-at-home moms or moms who are not aware what coding is uh there's no rocket science uh we have to just introduce to them so that they feel engaged and motivated and they are inclined towards it we are just trying to spark that uh, intuitiveness that they want to know more and learn more about it okay so coding activity number three is uh, there are some arrows given and those arrows associate some numbers now they have to look at the arrow and the number and then the number comes here so like the first one is three and then zero which makes three and zero either they can write it as 30 or just three and zero i have put space because uh we are just telling them to associate each arrow with a number not making numbers together so this is nine seven nine so like this they're going to do these five coding activity number four which is each number has been assigned an arrow look carefully and make the correct arrow in the box so if you're going to see there are a lot of combinations of arrows and this is also going to help them in giving directions to the computer or to anything that is moving okay so now we have 70 and 70 is green and purple so they're going to use a green pen or a purple pen to make it or they can just simply make an arrow going um, towards right and up Activity number five is a fox wants to eat a burger and he needs to code the way. Now, this is where it's going to be super interesting. I have used very fun characters for kids to figure out exactly what they're doing and uh, just to make it very, very interesting. The characters are so engaging that definitely they want the fox to eat the burger. So I have uh, given these uh, arrows here, which can be used as cutouts. They can cut and paste. And I've given a line so that they have they know they have to start here. And also there is a very clear instruction. Remember, he should take five straight steps and three down steps to reach. So because it is an introduction to coding as we are coding his path, so that he's going to take five straight steps. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. So these arrows would be used to guide the path. To take it to uh, a next level, I did heart. The lovelies are going to the taco point and here you have two straight steps two down steps and two right steps and then again you have uh, the cutouts right here you can use them and if you don't want to paste that's perfect because if you want to put these sheets in a sleeve they can be used all all over again and again or if you don't want to put it in a sleeve you can just cut them out and the kids can just paste it but they need to remember two straight so one and two then two down one and two and then two again one and two so they are just following the instruction and they are telling or they're coding the lovelies to go to the taco point that's interesting right okay so going forward you have use pencil colors to scribble the assigned color uh, below for each arrow so each arrow has been assigned a color which is red black blue and pink pink has been assigned to blue uh, light blue 
and then dark blue has been assigned to blue pink has been assigned to red and green has been assigned to black so they have to use a color sketch pen or a pencil color and they need to scribble the color and this is just a way of telling them how to code step by step so if they see blue that's pink they have to do the next one it's not that they have to first code all of them no they have to go in an order because they are just training their brain to do that activity in that fun way Acting the activity number eight the bee is all set to meet her two other bee friends please code the way for her remember she cannot use block paths with stop sign use the arrow card okay so now i have these arrow cards and let me show you the arrow cards that are already there in the in the activity they are just right here you can cut them out and the kids can definitely use them to finish the activity so like you see the bees right here and that's bee starting point so how will bee reach here she cannot she cannot go here she cannot go here either she can come down from here okay or or maybe she can go right here yeah but then she can't go here maybe then she needs to come down if she needs to come down we need to put the arrow here then here and then she's gonna go to this side so after coming here one two three and then she's going to turn around and come here or this arrow can go this way. So one arrow going this side, one arrow going down. So moving here, then moving down, then moving down or and then you move to this side. So this was activity number eight. Activity number nine is the same one but with a little difficult grade because I've added one more stop sign and they now need to figure it out. I think once you're going to cut down these arrow signs, it's going to be super easy because they can place them right here and uh, they can show like the part. They have to come here. So where is the path? This path is blocked. They can go here, but this path is blocked. They can't come straight. Hmm. So maybe you go straight, then you come two down, then you come here and then you finally reach here and that's your point. So you come here, you come here you go here and then you finally reach to the cheese point right here so that's it guys this, these were the uh, 10 activities that i wanted to share with you guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you have any problems any questions just leave a comment uh, in the comment sections below and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have family and friends please do share this video so that a lot of people uh, can just teach their kids and they can entertain their kids during the summertime and uh, I can't wait for going live on uh, June 12th see you guys see you next time bye